Market set to rally this morning as the Senate is looking to pass a continuing resolution to fund the government and avoid a shutdown. That's the big issue that's been weighing on the bond market in particular over the last few days is this idea that we would default on our interest payments. Now, we've talked about this before. That was absolutely never a risk. The Democrats had all the control and power to pass a resolution to fund the government. And again, that spike in interest rates, as we talked about yesterday, has now looked to peak. We'll look to see interest rates probably move back here towards the 50-day moving average here on a very short-term basis. The buy signal for interest rates, which suggested that interest rates was going to move higher, occurred previously, and now we're back to very overbought conditions on that signal, suggesting that we're going to see lower yields here over the course of the next few weeks as the market kind of starts to straighten back out heading into October. Funding gets done, the continued resolution gets passed, and this worry about making interest payments starts to fade. That's going to allow investors to come back into bonds here at higher yields and lower prices. Look for a position here. We've been adding some bonds to portfolios the last couple of days. We think that's going to be a good opportunity here over the next few weeks. This is also a good setup for the markets. Over the course of the last couple of days, we've retested that previous bottom at the 100-day moving average. Nice support building right here, looking for a rally back to the 50-day moving average, which is just simply above us here just a bit. Markets down a total of about 3.6% from the peak. So again, despite the fact this seems like over the last three weeks we've had a major correction, it's only been a 3.6% decline. As we wrote about in our article in August, talking about six straight months of advances, we said, look, there's a very high probability September would be a weak month. That's what's turned out to be here for the month of September. Now we have portfolio rebalancing. Here's the end of the quarter. Pension funds, hedge funds, mutual fund managers, they're all going to be rebalancing portfolios for their quarter end report. That's also led to some of the bond selling that we've seen in the markets here as we approach the end of the month. Wanted to sell some bonds heading into the reporting period. As we move into October, they'll be looking to buy those bonds back as well as stock positions that they sold to get them off their books for the end of the quarter window dressing. This is a, a quarterly event that occurs. We're now moving into the seasonally strong period of the year. If the markets can hold here at the 100-day moving average, again, a rally back up here over the next month or so, very likely. We're currently on a buy signal. Money flows are very negative here, though. We need to see money flows begin to improve, and we need to see this MACD signal also turn up. If both of those things occur, we're going to see a stronger market heading into October, November, December, which is traditionally the seasonally strong time of the year. Is that absolutely a guarantee? Absolutely not. This is why risk management remains very important. If we break this 100-day moving average, we are going to retest most likely the 200-day moving average, which is about another 5-6% lower. So make sure you have your risk management in place. Watch your positioning as well, and make sure you have some hedges also structured just to protect your portfolio just in case. I'm Real Science Roberts. We'll see you back next time on 3 Minutes on Markets and Money.